Tough game. Nine nothing start was fool's gold. Um, then they scored eight in a row on us, and then you know it was just back and forth from there. But uh, when you consider the difficulty of coming off a Western trip, come back east, and everything, it's really it's really a great win for us. Um, you know, Washington's a desperate team. They're without guys, but the guys they have available are are all really good players, and they're just let loose to just play free. And uh, it's just one of those games. It's a very difficult game to win. So, um, Buddy was great. You know, Tyrese uh, was terrific. I thought a lot of guys played real solid. Miles's two threes were great at the end. I put the game away. Um, and I, I just, I really love the way Matherin's playing right now. I just think he's playing with great poise. He's he's aggressive. He's moving the ball. He's just really playing the right way. And uh, you know, he had a had a terrific game. And he's, you know, he was the biggest plus minus guy we had out there tonight. So that was big. And and uh, you know, O'Shea played a very important role in the game because you know Kuzma got it going early. And uh, you know, Drew was, you know, one of our best, or probably our best guy to guard him. Um, but then, you know, um, and Shea did a good job in spurts, and then Drew ended up fouling out. So, um, you know, Shea did a good job rebounding the ball and made some shots and uh, made some big plays when we needed them. Rick, you guys defended pretty well in that fourth quarter. What did you see that went into the way you guys were able to slow them down down the stretch? Man, I think it's just a simple case of somebody had to outlast somebody. I mean, I mean, did you watch that Croatia Brazil game today? I mean, it felt like that, you know. Um, and our our crowd was great. Our crowd, you know, kept kept us going. Um, you know, when the shots weren't necessarily falling. Uh, hey, look. At halftime, they were shooting 63% or something like that, and we got them down to 53, which is still not good enough. But you know, you got to figure out a way to win the game. So that was good. But um, yeah, it was just the second half was find a way. You know, we had a lead, but it just felt a little bit phony because we were doing some things offensively or were a little out of character, and defensively, you know, we weren't getting much traction. So. Um, third quarter was better. Uh, the fourth quarter was really good. If we hadn't given Goodwin those two threes in the last minute, you know, we had a chance to maybe even hold him under 20. Tyrese hit a couple threes at the end, but it felt like for most of the game he was focused more on attacking the rim than taking his outside shot. Was that a, a game plan focus for the Wizards? Is that something he's kind of working on, is driving, getting all the way to the rim a little bit? You know, Tyrese just has a great feel for what the team needs. And... Uh, I think he realizes that he can score when he needs to score, but that we need to have guys, a lot of guys involved. I know, you know, we had one, two, three, five guys in double figures. I think we have six guys in double figures. I guess we haven't lost a game or something like that. I think he knows that. Um, so he was helping to get other guys involved. And, uh, you know, and really it's when you play that position, and you're, you know, invested in winning. Um, it's just, it's not going to be about the stats. It's going to be what's needed. And uh, you know, he had a he had a real good feel. And um, you know, eleven assists right on the number. Twenty three points it was a quiet twenty three, which was good. And there were times that we really need a basket, and he'd find a way to get in there and kind of will the ball in, which was you know really needed. So. Um, he was great, and uh, you know, as I said, we had a lot of guys that played played, you know, well offensively, uh, but everybody played better defensively in the second half. You mentioned Buddy earlier. What's just impressed you about, I guess, the whole of his offensive game? Obviously, he hits four threes, but it seems like he's getting buckets a lot of different ways. And you know, two back to back really good performances for him. What do you like about just what you're seeing from him right now? Uh, Buddy's a underrated basketball player. You know, he. He knows the game. He understands timing, movement. He drives it better than people think. Um, you know, when he's when he's tuned into it, he passes the ball extremely well. 
Um, but, you know, at the core, you know, he, he, he's a guy that, that is a scorer. And so that's, you know, that's, that's who he is, and, and we have to understand that and celebrate that, you know. And tonight was a night where we needed him desperately. I mean, you know, um, the, you know, he got going early, he stole the tip and went and laid it in, then he hit a three, and the, then the crowd was into it. And then, you know, the 28 points, I mean, without that, you know, this is a likely a different conversation. You guys hit 18 threes tonight after 19 the other night. Just what do you like about, I guess, the shots you're getting uh, and just, you know, your guys knocking them down? What do you think is just working offensively as a whole to give you guys some good looks? Yeah, we're, we've, we, in the second half, we moved the ball much better. Um, you know, Neesmith hit a couple of really big threes in the second half, you know, with that second unit. And um, O'Shea's been shooting the ball well. He made a couple of important ones. You know, Miles, too. I mean, in, 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 in a big way, it's all about the timing of them, you know. Um, we just got to keep stepping into them. And, uh, but the best ones are the ones where the rim gets attacked and then we got a chance to hit somebody in rhythm, catching, stepping into it. Um, and our, per our, our catch and shoot percentage of, of threes has been pretty damn good all year long. And, I, and I'll have to find out what it is tonight. But uh, it feels like it was pretty good. Anything that you did a little different for uh, to keep Porzingis from getting as many shots and touches in that second half? He was nine and nine in the first half. Well, you know Lloyd Pierce at halftime. You know I had him talk to the team about what was going wrong in the first half. It wasn't covered stuff. It was just we were playing soft. You know we just were not. They were not feeling us. We were not playing with any force. He's just catching it, turning around, shooting it. And the second half, we played with more collective will defensively, which was a big key. Um, we weren't perfect, but the game was not as easy for them. And uh, I think, you know, the 10 point deficit in the end is, is the story of, of playing with more force more than anything else. And, and a great crowd tonight, too. Tyrese, you always say, you know, buddy, better than maybe anyone. What'd you see from him tonight that allowed him to be so effective? I mean, he's just had it going the last two games. Um, you know, he's in his own right now. He's shooting the ball well. He knew he was due for it, considering how both of us and, uh, have been shooting lately, uh, especially just that most majority of that West Coast trip. Neither of us really shot it well. So uh, you knew he was due for a couple games where it would start to go in. And um, he puts a lot of work in. So just trusting what he's doing every day. Felt like you were making more of an emphasis on getting to the basket today than normal. Was that part of the game plan, something the Wizards were doing? What went into that? Uh, just trying to be aggressive, just trying to be aggressive. Uh, I really felt like last game I had success getting to the cup, um, and I've been doing a better job finishing around there. So that's just what I was trying to get to today, um, you know, just getting to the cup more, uh, creating offense that way, you know, with paint touches that allows me to spray out, hit guys, but also finish myself, try to get to the free throw line more. Uh, I don't know how many free throws I'm shooting, but it's not enough. So. Um, you know, the only way to fix that is to get to the rim. You guys defended well down the stretch. Where have you seen the biggest defensive growth for this team from the start of the season till now? Um, I would just say for, for us, it's been uh, more of a communication thing. Uh, I watched film today on the first time we played these guys here, and there was a lot of miscommunication things or uh, just some little things that you don't that you don't think about. And uh, now coming into today, I haven't played 20 five games coming into today. Um, thought guys were prepared. Um, I thought we you know, fixed a lot of things with communication. Uh, we were bad in the first half, uh, but that's, that's been a story, right? Uh, don't know what's going on there. Um, but yeah, bad in the first half, had a great second half. Uh, they had eight, guy, or they played eight, nine guys. Um, they're playing loose out there. So they're gonna make shots w with that freedom. And um, they made shots early, but you know, just warmed down, got enough stops and scored enough, shot, scored enough buckets to win the game. Just, uh, to go back to Buddy a little bit, obviously, you know, the three ball is always there, but it seems like he's really done a better job of attacking the basket lately. Just what do you think's, what do you think he's done better there, and how helpful has that been, just him being able to get to the rim and get some buckets that way? Yeah, I mean, Buddy can – he's just a scorer. You know, that's that's what he does. He's a scorer. So, um, you know, I feel like the past two games, uh, he's had a really good mindset of getting to the cup, um, attacking. Uh, he's done just done a really good job the past, the past couple games. Um, I think he's liked his matchups the last two nights. So, um, you know, just staying aggressive, attacking, um, and doing what he does that way. 
How just just looking at his impact on this team as a whole, I mean, just how much do you think his sort of veteran presence has helped? What do you think his, I guess, just his personality and just, just his, I guess, presence adds yeah, to this group? I think his personality helps any locker room. Um, it's hard not to love being with Buddy. Um, you know, sometimes he can get on my last nerve, and he, he's annoying a lot. But uh, what I do appreciate about him is uh, just his love for the game of basketball. Um, I think something that I share with him is that I don't want to sit games. <laughs> that was right on cue, huh? Um, wow. We were just talk I was just talking about you. And that was good. First, I started by saying, you get on my last nerve, sometimes you're annoying. But what I do love about you is your love for the game of basketball. We share that neither of us wants to sit. We want to play as many times as possible. Um, and I think that goes down to this, the rest of the organization. Um, we're just trying to build a culture here with guys who want to play every night, want to compete, just love the game of basketball. Um, and I think that's what he does, and that kind of helps guys see that, and uh, they share that. You talked a little bit in, in, I think, Sacramento or Utah, just about not feeling like the ball movement was there. You guys were rushing too many. Seems like that's come a long way, and you guys obviously hit 19 threes Wednesday night, you know, 18 tonight. Just what have you seen just improve with the ball movement? Uh, it's, been, it's been moving around. Uh, I still think in that first half, uh, the ball stuck a lot. Um, you see what teams are doing to be a little different. They're putting their fours on miles, uh, you know, in hopes that they can switch one through four to, uh, you know, kind of muck up our offense. Um, and I think when we first saw that, it was a little confusing. But I think what we have to understand is just keep playing because the right things will happen. Um, you know, when you when they put their five on somebody else, we have to understand you know, how to get them the ball, but just within the flow of the offense and not forcing it to them, because when we do that, uh, offense gets a little stagnant, gets ugly, so uh, we just got to keep playing basketball. Um, O'Shea played another a big role again off the bench today. Can you guys both speak to maybe um, all that he brings to this team and, and uh, how, why it's so important? Uh, yeah, O'Shea's been great. Uh, you know, he's been working and uh, watching film, and uh, I think that when, when he comes in and brings energy, instant energy, uh, coach realized that, and uh, it's one of the guys that we need on the floor. Because he rebounds, he fends the four, and he can play five. I mean, like spreading the floor and trying to play fast. So he does the little things, and uh, he's a guy that willing to play hard and uh, willing to play team basketball. Yeah, I would just say, uh, I think we both really get along with O'Shea. Great dude, first and foremost. Yeah. Um, and some about him is, obviously, you guys saw us start the year. He wasn't really getting minutes like that, um, you know, and that can be frustrating to any NBA player. But one of my favorite thing is that he's just stayed true to it, uh, stayed true to his work. Uh, and has been prepared, and you see the fruits of his labor uh, coming true today. So fruits uh, of his labor, <laughs> Tyrese, going crazy. I mean, that's mm. English, right? <laughs> that wasn't anything complicated. You must not talk like God. that in the Bahamas. Uh, but I think well, we it's have just, our own little quotes. Yeah, slang, yeah, yeah my bad, yeah. my bad. Just see the, the the outcomes of his hard work. Is that better for you? <laughs> Uh, he's just seeing that and just staying true to what he does every day, and you're seeing you're seeing him succeed. Buddy, 26 out on Wednesday, 29 tonight. Where do you feel like you were clicking in these two games? I uh, just uh, just having to just talk to myself. I had to talk with Rick, and uh, just just knowing that you know I play good. My team, my teammates feel my energy. Can't be having bad starts and uh, be down the whole game and trying to get it, and forcing stuff. You know, I got to be able to stay locked in and and be myself and uh, make plays for my teammates and uh, bring that energy that they need me to do because uh, like they feed off of it. That's all I can say about that. But it seems like you've made more of a point to attack the basket beyond just you know taking the threes, basically. What do you think's just worked out for you as far as just driving the ball and basically finding opportunities at the rim? Just, uh, I think, like, teammates and tie just put me in the right spot where, where teams are uh, forced to close out me hard and uh, just using my shot as a weapon to get down. To lean and uh, either I have a dump off or lay up to the rim. So it, uh, it's good when he shot fakes and does it, but when he takes like four or five dribbles, it's bad. So my just, my, my pack was elite tonight. You know, in the no. NBA you always have those one games where you can like do that. But I know my role. Please don't write about him getting a cup. You're gonna blow his head up. Please, <laughs> just let him shoot threes. Shoot threes. <laughs> uh, another thing that Rick gave you credit for was passing the ball, and you got four assists tonight. I guess what have you? <laughs> Have you made more of a point to do that also? Tyrese, I see he's another jealous one. He's, you, know, I, you know, it's a love-hate thing, you know, he just, no, but I've been making a better um, emphasis, just making plays my teammates. I should have more, but we're not going to talk about that. 
<laughs> Four assists. Really swinging it. <laughs> Time, it seems like you guys should be tired. You guys seem to respond. You're 5-0 and on back-to-backs. You come back from this Western trip, put up 121 points. Uh, do you think it's mainly uh, just a youthful exuberance of the team, or is it uh, guys just staying together and hungry for wins? Uh, what do you attribute, attribute that to the most? You didn't say nothing about exuberance. <laughs> Define. I mean, I didn't know that word. <laughs> uh, no, I, just, I think what you said. Man, we got a lot of guys who are young um, and just want to play. We're all excited to play. And I think when you have a uh, – I feel like a lot of our back-to-backs are coming off losses, so you just want to kind of get over that, you know, get over the hump, get to it. Um, you know, and I think we all, I think even our older guys, like, you know, Buddy here, he just wants to play. So uh, I think that just flows down to everybody. Everybody wants to get out there, um, you know, get that game back, hungry for basketball. So we got a lot of guys who just love the game. You call me an old guy? How old is he? 29. <laughs> I'm in better shape than him. He would never be in better shape in his life. <laughs> Can you guys go on basketball reference and look up how many dunks he dunks has this year? Dunks don't matter over shapes. <laughs> Athleticism. Shape how how Athleticism. Next question. Okay. Is this how you guys talk all the time? Yes. Always, always, always. 24-7. Are y'all done with us so we can go? <laughs> Is everything? Okay, I'll be good. Thank you. You guys hit 18 threes after, I think, 19 the other night. What's just sort of leading the good shooting, I guess? I mean, how much of it is ball movement? What do you think is working out in that regard? Uh, I think that's the main thing, you know, ball movement, finding each other and uh, being confident and playing for one another. Uh, I feel like that's you know, really been trending well for us, and we just got to keep staying with that, and I think we'll be good. A couple of big scoring games for you on the road trip again today. Where do you feel like you've been clicking or at least fitting in more on the offensive end recently? Um, just kind of like the same thing I said, just finding my spots. And, uh, you know, my teammates are really looking, and not only for me, but for everybody. You know, um, I feel like I'm in the right spots. And just being confident in myself, you know, when I catch the ball, trying to make a play, if even if it's swing it, you know, try to get someone else going, or if I have the open shot, shooting it. Uh, just playing basketball, honestly, I feel like, you know, sometimes, um, you know, when you get out there, you try to think too much. And I feel like I've been doing a great job of just letting the game come come to me and just uh, being calm. You were on the court for much of that fourth quarter when you guys were defending pretty well. What do you feel like you guys were doing so well? And how have you seen that defensive growth since the start of the season? Yeah, uh, trusting each other, um, just getting back to our principles. Um, I think that's, that's really been working for us. You know, I feel like the games that we lose bad or, you know, we let it slip away is when we get away from, you know, our base and um, what we've been taught since training camp. Um, and today was a great you know, testament to staying true to what we know and, and to what we've been learning throughout the whole year. We got to see the, uh, the Tyrese-Buddy relationship in all of its glory uh, in, in, this, in, the, in the press uh, conference a little bit ago. But just what's, what's it like to be teammates with those guys? I mean, how do you, what, what are, first off, just what's it like to watch them together, basically, and, and how does that dynamic yeah. help this team as a whole? It's great. It's great. You know, our two leaders, um, guys that really get along with each other um, and very selfless. You know, I feel like both are stars in the league and if they had a different ego or a different agenda coming in it would you know kind of make the team you know not what it is now um from the time they came in last year you know they were loving and you know helping everybody out and uh just trying to be a team and uh, i think that's big you know we got you know tyrese now is having a great year and buddy's having a great year um really staying themselves and not really changing um and I think that's what's helping. Obviously, there are our stars, our starters, and you know the leaders on the team. So if they have that mindset, you know everyone else coming in has to kind of follow that, follow, follow suit. And I think um, you know we're doing a great job of that. How much? I mean, it's, it's obviously joking, but they're sort of joking, bickering mm-hmm. thing going on. Like, what's that? What's that like to watch? And is that something <laughs> that goes on all the time? Yeah, yeah, all the time. Practice on the plane, lunch, dinner. You know, they're always like that. Uh, but it's all love, you know, um, brotherly love. And you know, like I said, if those two are like that, and um, bring the team together, then everyone else has to follow. How important has Buddy been, just, obviously, just this season in general, but these last two games? I mean, obviously, it seems, it seems like he's stepped up. Yeah. Got, last year, has a lot of points. I mean, just how much is that scoring help, but just his veteran presence helping you guys? Helps a lot. You know, on the court, he's, uh, you know, someone that they have to pay attention to and, you know, opens it up for everyone else. Uh, you know, he's a great scorer, but, you know, I think like he's doing a better job of finding everybody and um, just playing for one another. And I think that that's really what's separating him and making him so lethal out there. Um, you know, you said the last two games, but I feel like it's been all season. He's been doing, you know, stuff like this, and um, I feel like he's only going to keep getting better, keep trying upwards. Bill Gov was talking about uh, this team being kind of sillier and goofier and younger has made you guys pretty close compared to last seasons. You've been here for the last two and a half seasons now. Do you agree with that assessment? How tight do you feel like this group is? Very tight. You know, I feel like um, Gov is definitely right. He's on the nail. You know, um, we we love having fun and we love playing for one another and we love you know being around each other. 
And you know, I think that's what separates you know any team. Um, once you have that relationship out the court, helps on court. You know, you love seeing everyone else do well. Um, and I feel like that's why we've been so successful. Talk about having fun. How fun was it being back in front of the home fans after two weeks away? Great, great. You know, everyone showed out today and gave us big, uh, big boost and a lot of love. And you know, we need that. Um, you know, the road is tough, but coming home it feels great having everybody there and seeing how, you know, amped up and revved up they get. Um, so, you know, it's love being at home and glad we got another one tomorrow.